A while back I saw this amazing add-on for Houdini created by Mark Sherry. And during one of my live streams, I decided that I would try to recreate some of the functionality of that add-on in Blender with Geometry Nodes. And it turned out pretty nice, so in this video I will go through how to make some self-wrapping ribbons with Geometry Nodes. Let's start by adding two objects. A cylinder that would be used as the object that the ribbon wraps around. And a plane. Select the plane and head over to the Geometry Nodes workspace and add a new node tree. First, I will replace the original geometry with a cylinder from the mesh primitives. This will be used to create the ribbon. Add a separate geometry node and set it to face, then connect the side output to the selection input. This removes the top and bottom parts of the cylinder, leaving us with just a ring. In order for the ribbon to be able to actually wrap around bending geometry, the ribbon itself needs more geometry. So set the side segments to 5. Also, set the radius of the ribbon to something like 4, to make sure that it extends beyond the wrapping object. Next, let's make the ribbon actually wrap around the cylinder object. First, drag the cylinder object from the outliner into the node tree, and make sure that it is set to relative. Add a Raycast node, a Vector Math node set to Scale, a Normal node, and a Set Position node. The Raycast node is used to cast rays from the geometry that the Geometry Nodes modifier is applied to, in whatever direction specified by the Ray Direction input. And if any rays hit the geometry connected to the target geometry input, we can get access to information like where the hit took place, the normal vector of the surface that was hit, and so on. The target geometry in this case is the cylinder object, since I want to use the raycast hit positions to set the positions of the ribbon on the surface of the cylinder with the set position node. Connect the normal node to the vector scale node, and set the scale value to negative 1. Then connect it to the ray direction input of the raycast node. The normals of the ribbon are pointing straight out from the faces. So by scaling them by negative 1, I essentially reverse the direction, which results in the vectors pointing inwards instead. And that's pretty much it for the wrapping part. So let's turn the ribbon into something that looks more like an actual ribbon. I will hide the cylinder object for now, so it's easier to see what's going on. Add an extrude mesh node. A join geometry node. and the Flip Faces node. Set the offset scale of the Extrude Mesh node to 0.15, and disable the individual checkbox to make it so that the extruded faces are still connected. Since the cylinder object is hidden, you can see that by extruding the faces we no longer have a solid mesh. By connecting the Set Position node without the extrusions to the Yarn Geometry node as well, the original unextruded mesh can be added again. We can then correct the normals of this geometry by adding the Flip Faces node. Now, while this looks like a solid mesh, the inside part of the ribbon isn't actually connected to the rest of the mesh. This becomes apparent by adding a Subdivision Surface node. To fix this, add a Merge by Distance node between the Join Geometry node and the Subdivision Surface node to merge the overlapping vertices of the two parts. And finally, to make the mesh smooth, add a Set Shade Smooth node. As you can see, this ribbon also works on meshes that are curved. But what if you want more than one ribbon? Add a Join Geometry node after the Object Info node. Then connect the Object Input to an empty socket of the Group Input. Duplicate the Object Info node, connect it to the Join Geometry node as well, and connect the object input of that node to another empty socket of the group input. Now you can assign any objects that you want to be used as a raycast objects out here in the modifiers tab. And if you want more overlapping objects, you can just add more object info nodes.
Lastly, let's add a material to the ribbons. Create a new material in the Materials tab and name it Ribbon. Add a set material node in the Geometry Nodes node tree and select the ribbon material in a dropdown. In the shader editor, I will make a material that randomly assigns one of four different colors to the ribbons. Add an object info node and a color ramp. Connect the random output to the color ramp, then connect the color ramp to the base color of the principal BSDF. Set the color ramp to constant and create two more color stops and spread them out evenly in the color ramp. I will use these colors as my four colors. As a final touch, I want to give the material some texture. Add a noise texture and a bump node. Set the scale of the noise texture to 0.3, the detail to 15, and the roughness to 0.8. Also, set the strength of the bump node to 0.25. Connect the factor of the noise texture to the height of the bump node. Then connect that node to the normal input of the principal BSDF. And that's it! Two things to keep in mind with this setup is that in order for it to work, first, the origin of the ribbon needs to be inside of the wrapping object, otherwise the ray casting won't hit the target geometry. Second, the part of the target geometry that you want to wrap the ribbons around also needs to be a solid mesh without any gaps. So while this setup can be used to add ribbons to an arm or a leg of a character for example, it can't be used to wrap things around separated objects. But at least it's fun to play around with. I hope you found this video helpful, and that you learned something new. See you next time.